Hello, everyone. Now we are going to go to Question Street. Question Street is a place where some special people live, and they are going to help us to learn how to ask questions in the present simple. So, are you ready to go to Question Street? Let's go. So, here we are. This is Question Street. And there are one, two, three, four houses or neighbors on Question Street. Are you ready to know what these neighbors are called? Here they are. Let me introduce you. The first neighbor's name is Question Word. He helps us to decide what information we want to ask for. The next neighbor's name is Do Does, and she is the most important neighbor on the street because without her, we can't ask questions. It's impossible. She is the most important. The next neighbor's name is subject, but we can call him many other names as well, like I, you, he, she, they, we, and lots more. The last neighbor on Question Street is called the rest, which is basically just the remaining part of the street or the remaining part of the sentence, like the information that we want to know. So what does this all mean about Question Street and neighbors? Well, these neighbors really help us to ask questions. Look. Here is how we make questions in the present simple. And here are the neighbors to help us out. First, like I said, comes the question word that helps us to decide what information we are asking. And then the most important neighbor, do or does. Here we are, do, do, does, do, do, do. Then we have subject, which like I said, has lots of different names really. You, he, she, it, we, they, I, my mom. And then the rest of the sentence, like the information that we want to ask. Huh, fancy that. So for example, where do you learn English? Oh, I learn English at school. When do you learn English? I learn English every day. But remember, we are asking questions in the present tense, which means the third person singular is different. And what does that mean? Well, let's go to the subjects. He, she, and it is the third person singular, which affects the most important neighbor on Question Street. We said the most important neighbor can be called do, but in the third person singular, he, she, or it, the most important neighbor changes his name to does. So for example, where does he learn English? He learns English at home and at school. Or why does she learn English? She learns English because she wants to have a good job in the future. So that's all from me. Thanks for coming with me to Question Street. Now try the exercises and I will see you next time.
Bye-bye.